Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft RTX video. Today we're taking a look at another shader pack for Minecraft Bedrock, aka Minecraft for Windows 10. And this shader pack is actually called Defined PBR Resource Pack. And I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay first. And I'm going to show you how to install this shader pack and how to create your own RTX survival world or creative world. Because at the moment, if you want to create an RTX world or enable the ray tracing in your video options, the only way to do it is to go to the marketplace and download a NVIDIA created world, which will allow you to turn on the ray tracing, basically. So what the game makers want you to do is go into the marketplace, search for NVIDIA. And as you can see over here, you have to download one of these worlds which will allow you to play these worlds and get the ray tracing options, which is in the video settings down here. This slider will be enabled and you can turn on the ray tracing and play the RTX elements of the game. But with this method, which I'm going to show you today, you should be able to hopefully create your own RTX survival world and play the game as normal with ray tracing turned on. So I'm just going to show you some gameplay first of all. And as you can see, I've got this shader pack installed. I'm just going to show you the actual name and information about this. So if you go to options, global resources, it's listed here. As you can see, I've got this one enabled at the moment. It's called Defined PBR, an RTX resource. It's made by MadLad3718. And it's actually a vanilla based texture pack. So whatever you see in the vanilla RTX worlds, you will see in the shader pack which is really cool and the reason i like this one is it's got add-ons as you can see i've got some add-ons enabled here so i've got cinematic fog clear water and lower grass enabled there are other ones as well another reason i do like this shader pack is that it's got so many different add-ons for it for the ores and the fog and the water and the glass it's really cool so let's go back into the game and let me show you some of the gameplay for this so as you can see just hovering around here you can see the sun effects all right so i'm just going to show you some glass effects in the game at the moment i'm using the default glass so as you can see it's got the lines across the edges there there is a clear glass add-on as well, which removes that. But I personally, I do like the vanilla glass, which I do like the lines around the, the edges there. It helps define it, but some people do like the clear glass as well. So as you can see, we've got the reflection of these lanterns on the glass. Let me just change the time, actually. So there we go. As you can see, we've got the reflection of the lantern on the glass there. And we can actually see through the glass as well. So if we go to this bit here, there's some lava over here. You can see the reflection of the lava on this glass there, which cuts off when I move to the left, as you can see. And I've also placed a campfire here, so you can see it behind the glass, through the glass, as you can see. But at the same time, I'm also seeing that reflection of the lava, which is really cool. And if you go to this bit here, just the blue, blue glass, you can actually see the reflection of those lanterns there and the lava as well. I just go up a bit. As soon as I go over the top there, it cuts off, as you can see. It's really cool. And obviously we've got the glowing lava here and there is a glowing or add-on as well for this which you can also check out as well all right let me just change the time to day all right let's go in here let me show you something else as well another cool thing is that in the shader pack as you can see through that door because it's daytime we can see the sun coming in into there as you can see if i close the door the sun goes away see a bit of light coming in through the window there now one interesting thing is that if I change the time to 
sun set. As you can see, the sun has moved position to that side and it's coming in through the window now. And it's really cool because this is actually colored glass and it's throwing the, the colored glass color there onto the wall. It's quite realistic and it's a really cool aspect of the Minecraft RTX. And if we change it back to day, you can see it's coming back there again, which is another thing I really like about the Minecraft Bedrock RTX shaders is that it's got this effect enabled. And we can just play this in our default survival world, which is really cool. Alright, let's go check out the water as well. So as you can see, the sun is over there. You can see the sun in the water there, as you can see. Interestingly, the sun shape is squared there, but in the water, it does change to a circular one. If we go inside the, the water there. I do like the rays coming in, as you can see over here. So yeah, overall, this is a really good pack for the game. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you guys how to install this shader pack. And I'm also going to install another add-on. Because as I told you earlier, I haven't actually got the clear glass add-on. So I'm going to download that and show you guys how to download the add-ons for the shader pack as well. Alright, so before we start, you will need to make sure that you've got two things. First of all, you need to make sure that you've got a RTX compatible graphics card. So anything from a RTX 2060 or above should work for this and you also need to make sure that you've actually owned the minecraft for windows 10 game so if you are in any beta version please do make sure that you've unenrolled and that you do have a minecraft for windows 10 account and you own the game fully then only you can play this so just all right so it's to check if you've actually got this game installed properly on your system just go to the microsoft store just wait for that to load and just search for minecraft and the one that we need to go for is this one here minecraft for windows 10 you will come across quite a few of these so you might actually own one of these other ones but let's just click on this one here minecraft for windows 10 and if you've got this installed already, it will say play over here. So that basically means that you actually own this game. If you don't see this play button here, it means that you do have to purchase it. And then it will let you install it. And then you should be able to play this basically. All right. So the next thing we need to do is go into your internet browser. And we're going to search for the shader pack, which I showed you, which is called Defined PBR. And... The link we need to go to is the mcpedl.com link, which is over here. And obviously, I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads, which I'm going to show you today. So let's click on this. All right, so as you can see, it's loaded up the page here. And as you can see, it's made by madlad3718. So you know this is the resource pack that I showed you earlier. You can check out the cool screenshots over here. And if we scroll down to the download links, this is what I really like about this, this pack. It gives you so many options. So you've got the default download here, but then you've got all of these other add-ons as well. Luminosity, Glowing Ores, Subtle Fog, Cinematic Fog, which I've got installed. Clear Water, I've also got installed, and Lower Grass. Borderless Glass as well. Glowing Terracotta. And then you've got the old Glowing Ores and then the old Ores as well. So you can actually go ahead and just download all of these and just enable or disable them to however you like in the game. And you can actually see some examples. So for example, over here, Subtle Fog looks like this. Cinematic Fog looks like this. And then Luminosity add-on, it looks like this. It will allow you to see all of these basically if you've got this add-on installed. Right, so let's download the add-on first of all. It is going to open up this page where you do have to do a little bit of clicking here. So just wait for this to finish 
then click on free access with ads. And then you do have to click on this bit here, click on any of these links, close it down, close this down as well. Wait another few seconds, as you can see, which I'm doing now. And then it's going to let you continue. And then it's going to open up this Mediafire site. And what I'll actually do, I'm going to put the direct link to the Mediafire site so it's easy for you guys to download it. So let's click on this and download it. And as you can see, it's downloading here. In the meantime, let's also get the clear glass, the borderless glass add-on as well. So we just have to wait a few seconds. All right, so once you finish downloading your files, you should have a MC pack file. So it should have the name of the file and then it should have the extension called MC pack. All you need to do is just double click on this file and it will start importing into the game. Wait for that to import it into the game and then it will start installing it. So as you can see, it says import started on the top there. And it's successfully imported Define PBR an RTX resource pack. Okay, so let's exit out of this. And let's do the same for the borderless class add-on as well. As you can see, it started the import there. And it's done that as well. Okay, now that we've got these installed, we do need to enable them. So if you go into your settings, scroll all the way down to where it says global resources, click on that. And if you see where it says defined PBR, we're going to click on this and click on activate. And then I've also got the borderless glass there. I'm going to activate this as well. Minimize where it says my packs and then click on active. And as you can see, I've already got the other ones downloaded and installed. It should say defined PBR, an RTX resource in your active section. And then all your other add-ons should be here as well, as you can see. And if you want to uninstall these or delete them from your Minecraft game, you can click on these and then click on deactivate, but that's not going to uninstall it. It's going to go back into the My Pack section. So to actually uninstall these and completely remove them from your system, you have to go to this section here in Storage and then click on Resource Packs, scroll down, and if I click on this bit here, which says define PBR, you can click on this bin icon and that will actually delete it completely from the game. All right, so if you go into the video settings, as you can see, I'm able to tick this slide at full ray tracing and I should be able to play now a game with this turned on. So if I go back, click on play, click on create new, create new world. So. I'm going to make a survival world, normal difficulty, just keep everything on the default. And it's going to have the defined PBR RTX shader pack enabled as well. So let's click on create. And there we go. So as you can see, the RTX has been enabled and you can tell immediately based on the reflective water there. So we are in a survival world. So yeah, if you guys want to create a survival world, start playing. This is the way to do it. All right, so let's check out the borderless glass add-on which we downloaded. So it does say to make sure that you place this pack above the base pack. So what you need to do, click on this and just press this up icon here. So it is above the, the base pack there. All right, so let me just go back into my world which I created with the glass and the lava so I can show you the example. So hopefully it should now change the glass from the bordered glass to the clear looking one. So as you can see here, it's got rid of the borders and we've got the clear glass there. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I do prefer it with the borders because I can actually see 
the outline of it, but some people might like this, the way it looks. Let's go to the colored glass as well. As you can look, as you can see over here, it does look a bit insane. All right, let's check it out in the night time as well. So you can see the campfire through there. And the reflection of the lava there. Let's go and look at the coloured one as well. There we go. So yeah, hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. Please do subscribe to this channel to help it grow, help support it. If you have any queries or questions about this shader pack, do you leave them in the comment section below. If you do have any problems, do you leave them in the comment section below as well. I'll try my best to help you guys get any problems resolved as well for this. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.